Hey! Happy Saturday afternoon. This is my new shirt, three up, three down for the baseball, just in case you're wondering what I'm wearing. Um, new baseball mom shirt, love it. Alright, so I'm going to do another ombre look today. I'm going to attempt anyways, um, since yesterday's didn't turn out quite as um, drastic as I had hoped, so you can see it in the video, so we're going to do it again, um, but with different colors. So I'm getting ready to go to a pool party, so I'm going to try to make this super quick. And I am going to, well, super quick, uh, hey, Lindy. Um, these are the colors I'm going to use. This is cocoa and salmon. And we're going to use those two together, a great warm combination. Salmon's a really awesome color to use for uh, mixing and layering. Um, it's just, it just makes a lot of colors really pop and look really awesome. Um, so just wanted to say that real quick because um, I do especially in the summer like layering and mixing with that color so I am just using my tattoo rings I'm putting some of this cocoa color in here um, these are my testers so we will work on creating hey Lori work on creating this ombre look um, just starting so I'm just taking my test wand and putting a little bit on here by the way if you're on if you can um, say hi give me a heart something like that just so I can see that you guys are here um, I might have to look in my mirror because the camera is kind of hard to see so I'm gonna look in the mirror but you can still watch I'm gonna do an outline first of the upper and outer lip or the upper and top top lip Did I say that right upper and bottom lip there we go all right so I like to start with my V right here and then go out on either side. You guys can do whatever you want so there's n you can't do this wrong right? As long as you're having fun and you're creating something you like. And if you don't you got an oops remover you can take it off. Or you can fix it if you go outside the line. Hey thanks for the heart. Is it raining where you are? We got this like random like shower. You see the, see it's all lined? There you go. I'm going to do the bottom look now. I got this random shower a little bit ago. Didn't even think it was supposed to rain this morning or this afternoon. It was kind of weird because I was looking because we're going to this pool party and I was looking to see if it was going to rain at all today. And it said, no chance of rain right now, but 20% later. And uh, I looked at the radar, and there was this bubble of rain, like, like right on the edge of hitting us. And I was like, what? And like, it said not till this, like another couple hours. So I went to look outside because my oldest was outside playing, and. Uh, then my husband yelled at me because I opened up the front door. <laughs> Whatever. There you go. I got the outline. That's the first layer. Now I'm going to do it again with the second layer. Same color. So he yelled at me for opening up the front door because I was trying to figure out, like, where's this storm? And uh, next thing you know, my son comes in the garage and he's like, I'm like, is it raining? He's like, it's starting to drip a little bit. And then it, like, full out rained. So. But I think it's done now. By the way, if anyone's leaving any comments, I'm not seeing them, so just want to let you know. So if I'm not responding, that's why. I will come back and respond to them later. I'm going to put in the second layer of cocoa on the upper lip. There it is, second layer on the upper lip. Now I'm going to put the second layer on the bottom lip. Alright. Good to let these dry, these layers dry. About 10 to 15 seconds. And don't forget the corners. 
All right, now, I'm going to put my third layer on. With a third layer, I really try to concentrate um, more on the outer side of the lip, on the edges, um, because when we do the, the salmon color, the inside color, their recommendation, or what other people do, is they do that third layer over the whole entire color. So I really want my outer to be a little bit darker, so I concentrate much more on this third layer of the dark color, really being concentrated really on the outside to give that contrast of going from lighter to darker. Plus I know that you're going to get that third layer of color anyways when you put that lighter color on. And I need some more. I need some more in my, my wand. And I think this would go a lot faster if I wasn't talking. And if I wasn't using this too, so just uh, just an FYI. If you're doing this at home with your own colors, it'll go faster. The other thing I like to do with my outer colors, I like to, on the corners like here, is fill it in a little bit more than like on the, like the middle. To also give it a little bit layered work look going outbound too. There's the top with the third layer. Now we're going to do the bottom with the third layer. Like I said, as long as you are having fun, that's all that matters. Makeup ultimately is just fun, right? And it's accentuating your best features. I'm just doing some touch of work. Where I want it to be a little bit darker. A little bit more even. So makeup is really meant to accentuate your features and ultimately makeup, um, how else do I explain it? No. You can already kind of see it taking shape. Um, it's going to, it helps you accentuate your best features, but it also helps you cover up features that you don't like and to kind of make them drift back out away from everything else so you can, so that your best features come out and your worst features kind of shrink back, so to speak. Um, so, and it's an illusion, right? That, that was the word I was looking for, is the illusion. Makeup is an illusion on your face. So, very cool. But if you think about it, like, if you think about makeup, like, a lot of people use it, um, especially on stages and stuff. I mean, everyday makeup, too, but, like, stages. And they make things super bright, super dark super contrast so like if you look at them real up close you're like holy cow like you got this huge bright red cheeks like massive contouring it's so that from a distance like you can see their their cheeks a lot better you can see the um you can see their best features really pop off their face from a distance now we wouldn't do that with everyday makeup so to speak but and of course i just threw my tattoo ring away and i didn't want to do that because i was talking all right, we'll get another one and do the other color. <laughs> All right, so I got salmon. We're going to put that in the middle. So let me get some of this out. I am, these are, because these are testers, I put them in little tattoo wands. You can just obviously skip this part and just go straight to your own wands, right? But I don't currently own these colors, so in my personal collection. So we just use, have fun with the test colors and create just fun, fun super looks for you. All right, here we go. Salmon's in the wand. Again, I'm just putting a little bit here. I'm gonna fill in first where there is no color. So the first layer is just where there's no color. And yes, get some saliva.
And don't forget about your water line either, right? The water line is the inside line here. So don't forget about that when you're doing these looks because I tend to forget. So it's nice to have a reminder to do that. Okay, I'm doing my upper lip now. Just filling in where there's no color yet. See that color starting to come out? Ooh, that's gonna be pretty, isn't it? Okay, Kristen. All right, now, the second layer, I'm gonna go around on that same area that I just went on where I didn't have color before, and I'm gonna go slightly up into the brown. Not the whole way out to the edge, but just slightly up into that cocoa color. I guess you could see it. It's like turning like a like a like a crazy pink color right on the edge. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see it on the. You see it a little bit right on the edge. All right, I'm gonna do my bottom lip now. There's the bottom lip. Okay, now the third layer. You're gonna see the instructions I have posted before say to go over the whole entire lip with the third color. I'm going to do that, um, but I'm probably not gonna try to, I'm gonna go over the whole lip, but I, I may try to just, on the very edge, may not touch it. So um, that's gonna be your call and you can play around with it and do what you like. Um, and I mean, you can imagine how much fun you can have with taking all your different colors with the lights and the darks and blending them and shading them together. So here we go, third layer. All right, now I'm gonna move down to the bottom lip. See how much fun that is? All right, I need a little bit more color just to get the bottom lip finished. This one looks a lot like the caramel latte one I did the other day, doesn't it? As far as you can tell. Notice I'm kind of going only in one direction, whether it be from the outside in, you know, from either direction. Uh, I don't go a lot back and forth, back and forth, back and forth a lot. Our colors stay on better when you do it that way. That's true for like if you're just putting on one color by itself, not just doing the ombre look. There you go. What do you think? Give me some likes, my hearts, um, the wow face. <laughs> Let me know. We still have the gloss on. You want to give it a little bit of time to dry. Check it out. That one is so much, this is so much better than the one I did yesterday as far as like seeing it. All right, so this is the gloss. This is the clear gloss, the glossy gloss. This is what I recommend for all you new people. Um, you can see that I mean, this has been open for about a month. You can see how much is in there. It's clear. This color doesn't come off on this. I mean, you can see, like, I mean, this is, I don't have gloss up here yet. Look, it's not coming off. Not coming off. This ombre look's going to stay all day. Even at the pool party. Hey, Denise. There it is. There's your ombre look with cocoa and salmon. Just rubbing that glossy gloss around. 
sealing in the color, providing the moisture to my lips. Look. Look, they're not blending together, they're not coming off. Mm -mm. That's going to be there all day long. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready to go to a pool party. My husband just came home with the, um, the bring your own drinks. Anyways, so we're going to head out, and uh, we're supposed to be there in a couple of minutes. So I will talk to you all later. If you have any questions, have anything you want to share, um, let me know down below. Hearts, if you like um, hearts or wow faces, if you like the look. And I will talk to you all later. Have an awesome, awesome Saturday. See ya!